Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling into Detroit this week looking to get a win streak going. One last week to the Cardinals, 24-23. Wasn't pretty. Still not happy. The team right now is um, kind of a mess. I'm not going to lie. We're... Um, we're not doing as well as I would I would have thought we would be doing. Um, I don't know if we got to just kind of, you know, continue to just like just go away from the passing game and run. We have 26 offense where we average 128 passing yards per game, and we have six turnovers on the year. Defensively, we're the best defense in the NFL. We're we're incredible. It's just can we continue to potentially break out with Sanderson? And get him going. I don't know, but uh, uh, that's going to be our goal this week. Nate Kenish does have an upgrade point. Uh, we're going to go speed rusher. It's going to put him at a 64 overall. He's back from his shoulder injury, plus two finesse, plus one pursuit for the 22 year old. Um, he he's had some special teams tackles. So of all the Laval guys, they're making an impact all around the field, which is kind of what we expected. But obviously, we have trade offers. We're going to ignore them for now, and we're going to try and hop in here and just try and put together our best game of all, I was going to say of all time, all year, as they do have Amon Ross St. Brown and Mike Williams. So this is going to be a a test for our uh, secondary to prove that they are really the best secondary unit in the NFL. So we're going to start on a defense for this one. And Chad Muma, I mean, who else, man? Who else but Chad Muma flying in? It's not going to be a TFL, but it is just going to be no gain. As Muma's had an incredible year, so has Devin Bush. Devin Bush has been a phenomenal signing for us. And that's who else but Chad Muma. Muma comes flying off the outside. Gets the sack. Forcing a third and 17 now. And Jamel Dean just got burnt by Jamison Williams for a touchdown. I, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Third and 17. Oh my gosh. And you get burnt. Ugh. How, man? We can't, we're not a zone team. We are just not a zone team. That's actually hilarious that that just happened. <laughs> Unreal. Oh. And we're going to lose one with Rashad White. So we're picking up right where we left off. And Rashad White appears to be hurt. I think he's okay. But I, I don't know what else you're supposed to do in that situation. Um, nothing's open. Jacoby Myers is, though. Good job by Sanderson getting outside, waiting for someone to get open. And extending the play to make something happen there. Because nothing was open. That was a dead play. First and ten here. We're just going to give it to Rashad White. And Rashad White is going to pick up a first. Big time game there by White. And we're just going to keep... We're just going to go back to it. Not even an option. Hand it off. See if we can get something again. We can't. Uh, we gain one. I guess one's better than... Losing one. I don't know, man. Second and nine here. Um, I can't motion him out. I hate that. I know I saw Rashad White last minute. I know. I saw he was open. Just give it to Jelani Woods, though. Don't overthink it. Give what's there. They're going to be blitzing here. We're going to run to the blitz. Rashad White is... Ooh, I did not think he picked up the first, but... He did. Didn't think he did it, though. First and ten. New set of downs for us. How do you not make that juke, man? I mean, I know it's Jack Campbell, but, like, you're a superstar X-Factor. You should be able to make that juke. Second and ten. Not what we want. Trey Palmer. Little check down. Palmer. Nice juke by Trey Palmer. And Palmer's going to pick up the first down for us. Good run after catch ability. And he's been having a good year. He, he's been having a solid year. Kind of exactly what we wanted from him this year. Stepping up. 
into this role. And Trey Palmer again. Palmer trying to hurdle. And it's not going to work. But Trey Palmer, big time gain. Can we hit Ikevone here on maybe a tight end? Nope, we're going to actually get sacked. I don't know why I'm trying to play action at the goal line when I know we have no time to ever do anything. It's just me trying to get the Laval guys involved. Second and goal here. Sanderson, step up. Sanderson, touchdown, Nick Sanderson. I thought he might have fumbled it. He doesn't. And Sanderson is going to use his legs for six here. Offense is fired up. I thought here we were going to get the block. He just didn't block. Trey Farmers kept running. But regardless, that is six points. And we're going to tie this thing up here. All right, first and ten. I would like to say we had a great first drive, which we did the first two plays. And then um, we just gave up a third and 17 to Jamison Williams, who has speed. But, man, oh, man. To give up a first down is one thing. A touchdown, dude. Unreal. Devin Bush. Devin Bush, this linebacker, dude, the linebacking tandem of Chad Muma and Devin Bush, I don't care what overall say, it's the best linebacking tandem in the NFL. When you look at speed, when you look at making plays, picks, sacks, everything, these guys make them. They're phenomenal. Chad Muma, Devin Bush, best secondary tandem in the NFL. I'm going to stand on business and say that. We're going to use our Cody Shea here. There's no way they're going to get another third and 12. Jared Goff, three for three for 135 yards and a touchdown. Pretty much all on third down. What am I? What? Another first down. I mean, we're going to keep blitzing. We already have two blitz or two blitzes. We already have two sacks. Maybe we do man. I don't know. Because I know they're, like, wide receiving core, like, St. Brown, Mike Williams, Jamison Williams. Like, it's solid, but I don't think it's that crazy. Although, maybe it is now that I say it out loud with who they actually have. Joe Tryon. Joe Tryon gets the sack. Jared Goff. It looks like it might have been a broken play. He kind of rolled out the other way. No one was there. But, I mean, am I really that excited when we have a third and 14? Most likely going to give up a touchdown here. Let's see what happens. All right. Incomplete. He's just going to throw it out of the back of the end zone. Forcing them to indeed kick the ball. Big time holding them to three. Our defense minus two big plays has been phenomenal so far. Just limit those big plays, and we're going to be fine. It's 10 to 7. See if Jay Sisko here can get a good return. I kind of want to see where he ranks with kick returners in the NFL because he's had solid returns for us. He sees the holes. It's just a matter of, you know, kind of getting through. As Riley Taylor is going to be out in front for him. And Sisko, just like that, man, phenomenal return by Jay Sisko. Getting out to the 30, setting us up well for first and 10. Had him, but shh, go figure, I don't have time. Again, good read though. It's the right read. Wait for him to break across. I saw it. I just I can't do anything about that, man. Our right side. I mean, we lose two. Third and 12. Love to see it. Love to see a third and 12. Uh, I don't even know what... I mean, they want four verticals. Sanderson's going to truck the defensive end! And he's going to pick up a first down. What a play by Nick Sanderson. I thought for sure he was sacked there. I thought I stepped up. Oh, no, he's collapsing. And just get off me. I got a place to be... And you're in my way. Big time first down. I don't like the read option here. 
I do like a mesh here. I see Gabe Icavone open, but Gabe Icavone go block. Go block, go block, go block. I saw him. I saw him. But gotta just pick up the yards. Sanderson could overthrow that. You never know. First and ten. Kobe Myers, way to hold on. Good job holding on there. Let's just, all right, let's run in here with White. Second and one. Pick up the first. I mean, barely, man. Seven rushes for 15 yards is not Rashad White-esque. Now, I don't think it's all him. I think there's just, there's nothing really open. First and 10, though. It's going to be an illegal man downfield, isn't it? Uh, definitely is. Definitely is. Pass interference on Tristan Wirfs. I mean, okay, not at all what I thought it was going to be. Sure, we'll, we'll say offensive pass interference from the uh, left tackle. Jelani Woods, wide open, silky smooth, touchdown. There was a lot of guys open there. Ran a play action. Liked the numbers, and it was a good call. We had multiple guys open. Just throw it to Jelani Woods, untouched, making sure, diving, making sure that, you know, no one's getting them. It's going to be 14-10. A good start from our offense today, I'm pleased. Second and 10. I mean, maybe call a timeout here and try and get the ball back, depending on what happens here. As Chad Muma was there, just decided not to. And Jameer Gibbs is injured. Which also means the clock is going to stop. So, third and four here. Jamel Dean drops the interception. Drops the pick. But it is going to be second, or not second. Second and 13. Two minutes and 13 seconds left. We have all three timeouts. We get ball at half. Cisco, good juke. Again, I'm pleased, man. He has good returns. He really does. But now Sanderson. Two-minute drill for the kid. Let's see what he can do. We got first and ten here. Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers! Saw the one on... Stop it! So the one-on-one, -on -one, like the numbers, obviously. And that's going to be a big-time catch. Sanderson's going to step up. Sanderson, why are you not falling down? Fall down before you fumble, because I already know that's going to happen here. Let's see if we can get a read option, maybe. Yeah, we couldn't. Second and 14. I should have saw when I... Saw the safety kind of realign that it was going to be safety coming down. Chris Godwin. Godwin is injured. That's not what... Well, he's injured, but... Okay. Godwin's injured, but he just popped up like he's perfectly fine. We have two timeouts here. Let's see if we can run. Rashad White reaches. Can't get it. See if we can go right back to it. Second and inches. Rashad White. Touchdown, Rashad White. Beautiful drive. Beautiful drive. Go down the field. Pretty much did whatever we want, minus the uh, you know the QB option. But we're going to go up 21-10, get the ball the second half, and this could be that game that we are looking for where we kind of say, hey, we are a good team. We are a good team. We just got to figure some things out. All right, so we can see their route that they want here. So they want to stick and nod here with Jamison. Okay, Andrew Wilson, where are you going? Timeout. They're, they're kind of moving the ball. All right, so they're taking a deep shot is his initial read. Play action, not fooled. Just throwing it away. All right, third and three. We could get the ball. We could get the ball back again. 
All right. I don't know what they're doing here. Is that his route? Just sitting? I mean, they're in field goal range. They are kind of in field goal range. Are they going to... They're not actually going to run... Yeah, I was going to say, they're not running the ball. Kept them in bounds, so they're going to have to use a timeout. Or not. Okay. Let's see if we can. I, I don't think Ice the Kicker really works for them. But. It's, this should be a chip shot for him. And it is. They get three there. I wish they didn't get anything, but still 21 13 lead heading into half. We get ball. I like where we are. All right, so here we are to start off the second half. I'm gonna see if we can just hand it here to Rashad White. I mean, gain of three, not a not a big game from Rashad White so far. Ten rushes for 29 yards is not what you want to see. Um, yeah, Jay Cisco is checked into the game, and we are going to throw it to him, and Cisco is gonna have the first down. Go a little hurry up here. See if we can't. Maybe that's going to be a pick. Oh, goodness gracious. Both things I wanted were just taken. I panicked. I had to get rid of it. Uh, noticing Chris is Chris God. Chris Godwin's still not in the game. So although he celebrated, he's not in. Big time rush there by Sanderson, which means you're going to see more of Anthony Schwartz. Let's see if we can just run for a first. We can. Again, though, that's about it. We got one yard. We're not... We are not picking up a ton of uh, ton of yards here. First and ten. I like that bubble play, especially with Anthony Schwartz. Picking up six. We'll take that all day. Let's see what we can get here. Second and four. Little hurry-up action. We got Irv Smith wide open. First down. I like in the drive so far. Now that I said that, something probably is going to happen. But I'm liking the drive so far. Just, uh... I mean, Rashad White, right, you should catch that. I don't think he actually really swatted it, to be honest. But... I don't like... Alright, I like this. I don't like the original second and ten. Sanderson, get out. Sanderson, get out. Sanderson, you have your legs. Sanderson, slide. Just slide. I know I could have got greedy, but no. I've seen it happen way too many times. I've seen it happen way too many times. Just pick up the yards, man. First and goal. We're going to hand this off to Rashad White. Rashad White, not going to get the touchdown. Going to be second and goal now. I don't know if I like a double slant in the end zone. Malachi Williams is in. We're going to actually call. We're going to check here to a run. The running back out of Laval. Can't get it. We're going to go right back to it. Both safeties are coming down. We don't care. We should have. We're going to go back to it. Switch sides. Uh, we might uh, fall start. Yeah, yeah, false start. Um, are they going to imagine a fake field goal? They are not. Irv Smith Jr., touchdown. Get tricky on him. Weren't expecting the fake. Malik Little Tulsa to Jason Sanders. I thought about running at first. Because they bit for it that hard. But then just, no. Get it to Irv Smith. Get a touchdown. And let's go up 28-13. All right, first and 10. We can still see the routes that they're running. So they want to get St. Brown over by himself. Antoine Winfield. Andrew Wilson with a huge hit. Andrew Wilson laying the boom on that hit. 
still can see what they're going to do, and I can't see a route, so it's going to be a run, right? That's what this means. Nope, it's not what it means. Apparently, it's not what it means. I thought I can still see it. Or can I not? Yes, no, maybe. Now I can. Oh, it must have been an option. First and ten here. Ah. I saw it, but again, if you go too early, pass interference, pass interference. All right, I don't like, let's shade our corner inside. I feel like it's going to be some kind of slant or a dig. I mean, he's 12 for 16, 224 yards and a touchdown. You take away two long passes, and he hasn't done much today. They are going to do a streak here. See if they actually go there. Yep, they do. Jamel Dean forces the br pass breakup. They did go to Jamison Williams, though. They did go his way. Cody Shea in the game. He gets pressure when we use him. We just haven't been able to get that sack yet. Third and eight. Andrew Wilson going to be there to wrap up. Forcing the fourth down. Are they going to go for it? They are not. They are just going to punt. They are content. I don't know. You're down 15. On the other side of the 50, not by a lot, and you get a horrible punt. That's just a horrible chain of events from them, but we will take it all day. Because now 36 seconds left in the third. We're going to continue to try and run until we get that one that breaks. Until we get that one that breaks. We're not getting anything on the ground. Almost 100 yards rushing. He is. But like Rashad White, Malachi Williams, no, nothing. And nothing was open there. They brought the full out blitz. Nothing was open. <sighs> Bringing up third and 20. I tried to check it down to Rashad White then. Just didn't have enough time for that to develop. Third and 20, though. I mean, he had Jacoby Myers. It was a bad pass. Poor accuracy out of reach. Had Jacoby Myers open. We could not get there. Oh, that stinks. Had him, had him, had him, had him. Fourth and 20, and just no one is down there except for KJ Britt. Thank you. All right, first and 10, though, for the Lions now. I mean, I think at this point, it's it's four down territory for them. Down 15, you kind of have to. Nice play there, just beat my linebacker. We need a big play. We need, we need a sack. We need a pick. We need something. Oh, I got blocked outside uh i tried to come around didn't work i got kind of pushed into my own guy there not ideal joe Tryon. i mean shed the block immediately carlton davis came screaming down laid a big hit second and seven here muma yeah, yeah, no! You know what's crazy, though? On that last game, I think it was the last last game or two games ago, that would have been roughing the passer, which is what's mind-boggling. They would have been like, ah, roughing the passer. Going to use Cody Shea here. Cody Shea! Sheds the block, can't wrap up, but does slow him down. Devin Bush is there then. That's a big play by Cody Shea. That's a big play by Cody Shea. Fourth and three. Devin Bush sheds the block. Can't wrap up. Jaquan Brisker can't make the tackle. And they're going to get a touchdown. <sighs> I mean, Devin Bush had him. Shed the block. Could not get there. That stinks, man. Only up eight now. I mean, we've done everything, like... We wanted to, like, we scored before half. We scored after half. Here we are, though. 
Kicking off. Hopefully a good return by Cisco. Not bad. We'll take that. Not bad. But, I mean, I'd love a drive where they just don't get the ball back. But we can't run. That's the issue. Like, right now, I'd love to pass. But I don't think I'm going to be able to pass. We're going to try it. Couldn't pass, but we couldn't run with Sanderson for seven. Sanderson's going to crack the century mark, I believe, now. With that run over 100 yards. I don't know why we're doing a hurry up. Jacoby Myers. I like that. I like that. Just pick up the first. Go Jacoby Myers. Up his draft or up his trade stock. Because I still don't know if he's going to be here. But that's a, that's a topic for another day. I mean just immediately sheds. We can't get anything with Rashad White man. Our best running back today is Nick Sanderson. That is our best running back today. Second and nine. I don't know if we're going to be able to get them to bite here. I didn't really like anything. I didn't. Oh, man. Jail block screen. This is definitely just not going to work with Chris Godwin. But I'll try it. I mean, just didn't get the blocks. Didn't get the blocks. Probably a horrible call. I don't think I can go for the fake, right? Whatever. Let's do it. And that's a horrible pass. Not even in the vicinity. They got to pick up pretty much a yard each one of these plays, which they're going to do. Jaquan Brisker thought he had a apparent pick that was never there. And they're going to score a touchdown. All righty. Here we go. Blowing a game. What else is new? Welcome to Buccaneers franchise. Yaya misses it. Devin Bush misses it. And Jamel Dean stands there. Oh, my gosh. I mean, can't make this stuff up, man. Can't make this stuff up. Our blockers just didn't get out in front. Just didn't get out in front. Oh, here we go. I think every game this year has been like... Like a came down to the last possession. Rashad White, good juke, stay in bounds. There's just there hasn't been a game where I can relax in the fourth quarter. They're like not rushing anyone. Wow, they didn't rush anyone. Bold move, get out of bounds. They dropped back pretty much everyone. They did all contain. Sanderson had all day in the pocket, all day. Almost in field goal range already. Even though I can't hit field goals, we're almost in the range. Huge pocket. It just step up, Sanderson, and run. Step up, run, and get down. I mean, already in field goal range. Rashad White just can't. Nothing's open, dude going to come down to a field goal and I don't like this at all because I can't hit him. Go figure. No one blocks. Pick up the first, please. He does. Big time run by Rashad White. 50 seconds now and counting. Rashad White has his X Factor now. A random time to get it, but okay. Sanderson just gets out, gains four. Works for me. He's up to 146 rushing yards today. That's unreal. Second and six. If we can get a touchdown, I'm going for a touchdown. Rashad White! Call timeout. Can we get... No. I mean, the one-yard line. We have to do it, right? The first time it didn't work. No, 
No, I didn't mean to call a pass. I did not mean to call a pass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, um, we're going to have to kick a field goal now. That's for sure. No, we're not. Trey Palmer. What? He didn't get both feet in. I can't even challenge the play. What do you mean he didn't get both feet in? This was perfect. I saw he's blitzing. So we're going to call it out. This means this linebacker and safety both have to bite. Trey Palmer. Wide open. Wide open. One foot. Excuse me. It's a touchdown. That's a touch. I didn't even mean to screenshot it. That's a touchdown. Oh my gosh. This game. Booth review. Give me those points. That's a touchdown. That is a touchdown. One, two. He drug it. Beautiful ball. Well, I mean, eh, could have been a better ball. Beautiful catch by Trey Palmer. That's a touchdown. We don't have to kick a field goal. We don't have to kick a field goal. That's what I'm talking about. Methodical drive. Nick Sanderson doing it with his legs, throwing when he has to. All right. 13 seconds left. Not going to squib kick it because squib kicking, they're already going to get it at a good field possession. We're just going to kick it deep. Say either you're going to touch back or take it out. Jake Camarda. All right. Touch back. They're probably going to have two plays. Two plays, I'm, I'm going to guess. We're going to use our Cody Shea here. Try and get something to the backfield. All right. Last play. Last play. Second and ten. They just got to throw it up. Take a prayer. We don't have... Cody Shea in now. We got Joe Tryon. We got Clayus Campbell. Leonard Floyd gets the sack, and that's going to do it for the game. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't necessarily pretty. Um, again, another one-possession game. But we get it done. Nick Sanderson had a really good game. Really good game. I would say, besides his first game of the season, this was his best game so far. 15 for 19, 213 yards and one passing touchdown. 13 for 146 and a touchdown. Didn't fumble. Rashad White, 18 for 63 and a touchdown. Malachi Williams couldn't get that touchdown. We're going to try and get him one, though. Jacoby Myers, 4 for 63. Palmer, 3 for 49. Uh, he also had a touchdown. That's just ridiculous that we're not going to give it to him. Okay. Jelani Woods, touchdown, or Smith, touchdown. Godwin, he was hurt. Jay Sisko did have a catch for 11 yards. Defensively, total tackles. Did the Laval boys get anything? Ryan Enright did get a tackle. Sacks, one for Floyd, one for Muma, one for Bush, one for Joe Tryon. No picks, no forced fumbles, two deflections for Jamel Dean. Kick return average, 26 for Sisko. That's really good. That's really good. All right, so we are going to simulate to the next week against the Denver Broncos. And, oh, my goodness, breakout QB. Now we're talking, as Nick Sanderson was the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I mean, he had a phenomenal game. He had over 350 total yards, two touchdowns. Phenomenal game. We do have a breakout challenge for him. This week's huge for the future. Oops, for the future of this series. Now, we have trade offers for like players we haven't even like Tristan Wirfs. No, Jacoby Myers. I will look at again. Corey Davis, Christian Barmore, um, like Tyron Matthew. But it's like one year thirty two, and where do we put you? Our safeties are kind of set. Colton Miller is still here, and he's still someone that, I mean, we're getting a third-round pick and an 
he, we would move him to right tackle. Right tackle, it's it's almost a no-brainer type of move. Um, one that I feel like I'm I'm gonna have to take eventually. Um, nothing else, kind of nothing else crazy. Carlton Davis is the other one. Uh, that we have offers for. Did we put in Clayus Campbell? We did. We do have some offers for him because we know we're not bringing him back. Um, I mean, Carlton Davis, we could get Corey Davis and kind of get a um, receiver back that we're going to trade if we do trade Jacoby Myers. Steve Avila, could Jonathan Jones, good corner depth. Um, that's really it. Like, Cortland Sutton, I don't want that cap hit. Steve Avila or Jonathan Jones might be the move. Steve Avila, I mean, he's 24 left guard. I I know he's only 75 with star, but I don't I don't know. We could also just try and trade a pick for him. Um, I'm not looking at Rashad White trade offers, so sorry. Calais Campbell, this one is the one I'm interested in. Okay, so Corey Davis, I'm noticing a theme. Levi Wallace, Sean Murphy, Bunting. Ooh. Draymond Jones, 27-year-old, 79 superstar. That's interesting. Ronnie Staley. Holy, okay. Um, okay. So things just got interesting. Ronnie Staley, 91 overall superstar. He is 30. I know he's 30. But, oh, man, okay. That, that's probably my favorite right now. Bryce Hall, Randy Gregory, Mike Hilton. All right, I, I do like the Draymond Jones, but I also really like the Ronnie Staley. I mean, we could get Ronnie Staley and Colton Miller and just absolutely beef up our O-line. Ryan Jensen, we did just sign him to an extension. So Calvin Ridley is a Tennessee Titan. I don't really see why we would get rid of him. Um, there is also nothing crazy enticing for me. Ryan Jensen, we're just not going to get rid of him. Ronnie Staley, though. Um, that That is something. Um, I want to look at the Ravens, and I also want to look at the Seahawks. So we'll look at the Seahawks first. We'll go to Draymond Jones. Like, why Why do you want to get rid of him? He's a 79 overall superstar. I mean, how's he doing this year? Last year, only two sacks. 18 TFLs. This year hasn't recorded a sack. What's his contract like? Who, 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 okay. Two years remaining. It's going to have a big cap hit, though. All right. I mean, right now, our left end is Joe Tryon. It's, and I don't think he's going to be anything. And our right end is Clyde Cansey, who just can't seem to get anything going. Um, I want to look at the Ravens now for Ronnie Staley. So they have Morgan Moses and Daniel Falele, or Falela, however you pronounce that. Kevin Zeitler, Tyler Lindenbaum, Chuma Adoga, Ronnie Staley, and Patrick McCarry. Ronnie Staley, why would you want to get rid of him? He has two years left. He has two years left. We get him for this year and next year. I mean, I don't know. Him? Could you imagine just a... And I think we're going to wait until the trade deadline to do most of these. But could you imagine... Tristan... Oh, see, we have Cesar Ruiz, though. Tristan Wirfs and Ronnie Staley as your tackles. Colton Miller as like a left guard. Ryan Jensen, Cesar Ruiz. I, I mean, that's that's pretty good, man. That is pretty good. I don't know. That, that would pretty much... You wouldn't have to draft a tackle or any offensive lineman this year. Kalijah Kansi needs to be playing over Leonard Floyd. This is just... We can't have an 80 overall young player like him and just not get playing time. 
I love Leonard Floyd. Don't get me wrong, but Kalijah Kansi, you gotta, you gotta get that time. Um, see how the Bills are doing. Kind of where our pick, our pick lines up here. I think it'd be roster. Yeah, uh, pick twenty seventh, but we do have three seconds and a third. Twenty seventh overall. I mean, they could. I would say if it if it's even the top twenty, that'd be nice. The Bills play this week. The Titans are four and one. Probably going to win that game. Uh, Miles Garrett has eleven sacks already this year. Chad Muma does have six. If you kind of look over towards the right, um, but yeah, we got breakout QB. I don't think we have anyone we have to sign because all these guys are not interested. Laval, 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 Laval. Laval and Jason Sanders. Who is the? Oh, hi. Yeah. So we're probably going to wait on majority of these Laval guys. We might even let them go and then bring them back once they're in free agency. Not quite sure, but we get the win. We have a breakout QB, which is very big. We have a chance to have a star quarterback. And I would say officially say we have our quarterback of the future. Big week next week against the Broncos. I'll see you guys there. Peace.